you can see by our main opening billboard here, we have begun the Asian Highlands section. So I will have to split this section into a few episodes because um, it is a rather large section um, and I am super busy so I don't have a whole lot of time to work on it. Um, but I'll show you what we have so far. So we'll head into the zoo here. Not much has changed in general around the zoo. I did start putting up some banners um, and some more shaded seating areas. I'm just trying to fill in uh, the paths a little bit because with the size of this zoo, it would get very busy in here, but because I'm not actually allowing guests in, um, I wanna keep some life to the path and keep it from looking big and open, but for now we can just say you know it's covid and so the zoo looks a little empty um, i also made these um, construction walls um, to put up and you see this in zoos where they put up these temporary walls with like pictures of animals and stuff um, just so we didn't have to look at so much empty map around the zoo um, but yeah Anyway, moving on, here is the entrance to our Asian Highlands section. So I just made this little archway quick to kind of um, let people know they were entering a, a themed area. And we'll head on in. So you walk up the hill and then um, across this little lawn you can get a bit of a peek into our playpen for our red pandas. I can see one in there. Um, that's not really the main viewing area, but you could peek at them if they were playing around in there. But the main first animal is off to the right here, which is a Markhor exhibit. Um, yeah, it's, you know, lots of rocks and sticks like you would see in any other Markhor habitat. It's not implied though. We just have to find them. There they are. Um, so this is the mod that I commissioned from Nick. Is these Markhor, and they look amazing. The horns are perfect. The shaggy neck beard is great. Um, they will be available to public. I know a few people have asked since I posted a screenshot of them. Um, as soon as the mod is finished, but I just wanted something to put in here, so I just have the male model as a replacer for the doll sheep. But it will be a standalone mod with a male and a female and a baby and stuff. It's just not quite finished yet. Um, the boys are all really busy with modding in the big Africa pack and stuff that's coming out. So don't fear. Pretty soon you should be able to put these little guys in your zoo. Um, they're pretty cute. And they jump around a lot. Like they're very lively. Um, they climb on these rocks a lot. It's pretty fun to watch. But... My favorite is they come over and they eat out of this hanging feeder, but they're too sh short, so they have to stand on their back legs. It's really cute. Anyway, um, again, lots of shade over the pass. Um, because we are kind of in a California area, we want to make sure no one's overheating at the zoo. Um, and shade in the animal uh, habitats as well. So you come around and just tucked away on the corner here is a little... Um, pond area with some saurus cranes in them. Uh, these are by Mealy and uh, they look pretty good but if we ever do get a Asian crane either as a habitat animal or as a, a scenery prop um, I might replace them but I think they look passable enough as it is. Um, yeah cute little area and then we'll head up. Uh, I tried to keep some areas that weren't planted um, because, you know, zoos wouldn't have the, even a big budget zoo like this wouldn't necessarily <laughs> waste all the budget making sure every little piece was planted and landscaped. And then I did add like this little dirt trail where like people have been cutting up across the grass instead of going around. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, so there's kind of this opening plaza here and we'll go off to the left first. And this is where you find our red pandas. So I made this little stone bench with uh, the cute little red panda statues. These are some of my favorite statues in game. I just love them so much. I, I just wish that when they came out with a really interesting style like this, they gave us more animals in the same style, but you know, 
is what it is. So up here, because this is a little bit sunk down, you can kind of get a really good view of the red pandas if they're out here climbing around. Um, I did put their water out here to encourage them to come out here, so they do come out quite a bit. Um, and then uh, we got, of course, the information for them and they have a very plain indoor section I might redo it and make it a little more interesting in there for them but for right now it's just got like this skylight with the bamboo growing um, <laughs> there they are snuggled up I love the red pandas they're so cute got this doorway and the bamboo on the back um, and just some climbing uh, they don't really have I gotta look up more pictures of indoor red panda areas um, and just see like what they would realistically put in here for them but I just did that for now yeah and then I put some of these all around the zoo um, where like pip shot water would have sort of sponsored these water bottle and, and drink fountain things around the zoo so I kind of plop them all around um, but yeah and then I put in Paul's Lee's hot dog cart um, again just to give some life to the paths um, but yeah and then across from the red pandas we have the Schwalski's wild horses they're in here looking real cute lots of space for them to run around and some trees for them to be rubbing on and and you know scratching and chewing and all of that and then the live trees I protected with a fence because um, the horses would rub and chew on the bark and and kill the tree but they have these pieces that they could they could do that on um, and then I put the waterer and feeder from my ungulate pack in here for them and then they have this is a really big barn um, that would house all of the ungulates if they were you know off exhibit or there was bad weather or whatever um, it's not connected to the markor, but I'm sure I might either put a smaller barn over there or that they would just bring them over. Um, it's empty on the inside, of course, because we're not doing too much backstage um, until we are done the zoo and have still have pieces left. Um, I did for some reason, I had to move the water tap away from the waterers because these used to work, um, but now for some reason they won't drink through the the art pieces anymore which is after the update which is weird but whatever I don't mind um, yeah I'm waiting for these guys to have a little full because the little babies are so cute but they haven't had one yet anyway moving on so coming around here we'll go up there and see the big guy after but we have some wood shades um, just to break up so we're not using the same shaders over and over again um, and over here we have some Bactrian camels. This habitat, I like it, but it came out about twice the size I planned for it to come out. Um, it's a little baby, I don't know where mom and dad are. But uh, I might, I don't really want to try to make it smaller, but I might uh, either get more camels or put another species in with the with the camels and the way that this is set up with all of the habitats being next to each other with a barn in the middle I'm sure too that enrichment wise they could rotate oh there's mom and dad they could rotate the ungulates um, from one one habitat to the other too um, yeah so that's these guys and then we'll head over to the biggest attraction so far which is the snow leopard I have this great netting from Haribo and then they have the same viewing uh, window as the red pandas it's just bigger um, but there's banners and education here because this would be one of the bigger ticket animals Let's see if we can get the glare off of the window here and I did put a vending machine here too but yeah there's our little snow leopard he's got lots of stuff to hide in and climb on and jump around in there um i'm pretty happy with it turned out but this whole area i'm still kind of just tinkering um with it so we go in there i wish he could use this hammock but they they can't maybe in the next update they'll add some more animals to the hammock but yeah he's got lots of places to hide this exhibit too is bigger than i would have maybe liked but I had to go by the size of the net because um, 
the net was amazing. I just wanted to use it, but it's a little bigger. Um, so I put in lots of these big rock formations to kind of fill up the space. Uh, and there is a little backstage building back there as well, um, because they would obviously have to remove the the leopard for the keepers to get in here and, and work. So they would need somewhere to lock him away. He sleeps up here in this little nook a lot. Um, and then there's another one back there that's a little more private. Um, I might get a second leopard. Um, I just haven't. But yeah, I think it's definitely big enough to have two in there. But yeah, this is the section so far. So I hope you guys like it. And then I think the plan is to go this way with the path. And I might put a, a third ungulate paddock over here with maybe some talking or something. And then it'll curve down this way and go to like more like Indian rhino and, and things like that and then transition into like lower tropical land um, sort of Asian animals and then I haven't decided yet if the snow leopard will be like the crown jewel of this section or um, if I'll, I'll keep going I'm gonna for sure put a, a Eurasian lynx right here and then I think what I might do is continue the path up this way and continue the elevation so that you go up and you'll go up to an, a, a Siberian or um, a mere tiger and then um, the giant panda as well um, but I don't know so give me your thoughts on that um, but I think that's maybe what I'll do the zoo I think definitely has the budget for it so yeah, we'll take one last little stroll through here. Um, I didn't get much done this week, but I did get did get a bit done. So, yeah. And then hopefully by next week when I update you, these guys will have had a little full. They're probably my second favorite addition. Um, just because they're horses. But I really do like the Markor. They're pretty cute. So yeah, this is our Asian highland so far. So we have the penguins um, in the entrance, and then we have, this is the section so far. This path won't be here, it's just it's just temporary so that the keepers could get to the snow leopards. Um, the, the backstage will run, um, the ungulate backstage will run here. And then the, there'll be more backstage here that'll service this. But for right now, I just needed a path so that they could get over there. But yeah, this is this is it so far. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is where, be where we'll put the Amir Tigers and Giant Panda. And then um, I'll need probably one or two smaller kind of filler animals. Um, one of which might be like the talkin over here and then we'll come down this way to the indian rhino and so on and so forth but yeah i hope you like it so far uh, if you have any comments or suggestions let me know down below watch a little markor here for a minute but yeah thanks for watching this episode i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time Bye bye